In this video, we will review how to insert and format text. To change text to WordArt, select the text, click the Drawing Tools Format tab, click the More button on WordArt Styles, and then choose an appropriate style. If necessary, return to the Home tab and increase the font size. To create multiple columns in a single shape, select the shape, cl then click the Columns button in the Paragraph group. Notice that you have preset options for one, two, or three columns. If you need more columns, click on More Columns and set the number of columns. For this example, we will set it at two. To insert a hyperlink, select the text or object, click on the Insert tab, and then click on Hyperlink in the Links group. Choose a location. For this example, we will be linking to an outside website, such as Certiport. When finished entering the URL, click OK. To apply formatting and styles to text, select the text, and then click the Home tab, and take a look at the options in the font group. You've got options here. You can also click on the dialog box launcher button for the font group if you need additional options, and then make the appropriate adjustments. Once you finish, click OK. To create a bulleted or a numbered list, select the text, return to the Home tab paragraph group, and then click on either bullets or numbers. And notice if you click the drop down arrow on these two buttons, you get more options for bullets or numbering formats. And this concludes the review for inserting and formatting text.